Hey everybody, what's up? It's Rob Dotson uh, coming at you live from the Chrome Dev Summit. Uh, we are here at the SF Jazz Center. We're just sort of lurking in the stairs. Uh, I'm joined by Sam Sacconi. Uh, Sam, you just gave a talk on uh, application performance and uh, in particular like load time and, and things like that, uh, time to interactive. For folks who haven't seen the talk yet, uh, what are some of the sort of the, the troubling hotspots that you saw in sort of your forensic analysis of, of apps and how they could you know, do uh, time to interactive better? Yeah. Good question, Rob. I think that uh, a lot of websites just ship a lot of JavaScript today. Uh, and that JavaScript that they're shipping just takes up so much time uh, on the main thread on a phone that it basically locks out the page from being interactive. I mean, that paired with the amount of resources that people are loading on the page, we're talking about web pages that load super slow for most users. Now, I know one of the things that people have been kind of raving about potentially is like H2 push. Like H2 push is going to like save the world and, and things like that. And I know you looked into that as well. Um, so what were your findings related to H2 push and, and how it affects uh, performance? Yeah, I found that, uh, well, H2 push is very useful for getting resources to the browser faster. But it's not like a golden bullet for performance. What works really well is actually link rel preload. Think of link rel preload as a like the first step in switching to H2 push. Link rel preload lets you download resources faster than they're discovered. So like with Polymer or HTML imports, it lets you put the, the dependent resources way up in the discovery tree so that the browser shoots off those requests so that when they're finally discovered, uh, it's already there in the browser. So it's great. Now, uh, for someone who maybe doesn't know much about preload yet, yeah, is there like a resource someplace where you know where they can go to learn more about that? Yeah, uh, so if you just type that into Google, the first three results are all excellent. So there's a W3 uh, spec article, and then there's a few blog posts, uh, one on Smashing Mag, that are super great and explain all the details and how you can get a big win out of them. All right, right on. Uh, Sam, thank you so much for, for being with us today. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, definitely catch Sam's talk on the YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to the Chrome Developers YouTube channel. we got a lot more content coming at you. And uh, don't forget, we got an entire second day of the Chrome Developers Summit. So definitely check out the live stream tomorrow as well. Uh, again, I'm Rob Dodson coming at you from beautiful San Francisco. Stay with us.